where Two Crafty Sheilas. I'm Belle and Loz is here with me. And today we thought we'd do a little bit of a whip and chat. Um, but first of all, I want to find out how is everybody out there in the YouTube land? I hope everyone's doing well. Tell me, what are you working on? What have you been working on? Have you finished something recently? Tell me all the things. Um, but also to all of the recent subscribers that we've been getting, hey, welcome. Thanks for joining us and I hope you enjoy us. Um, and to anyone who's used to us and is happy to deal with the crazy, <laughs> welcome back and welcome we back. really enjoy having you join us along the way. So tell me lots. <laughs> how have you been? What have you been doing? What are we working on? Tell me all the things. <sighs> so being a bit meh, but that's nothing new. Um, I am working on my absolute favourite kit at the moment. It is DD by Hannah Lynn. Let me just move some stuff. You can see her face sneak up a little bit. But, um, from Art and Soul. So this has just been colour blocking heaven for me and what I've needed to sort of help me get through kits because I have three whips and I've never done that in my life. <laughs> so, um, this has got all my favourite things. Like I love the colour yellow and sunflowers. It just makes me feel happy. So um, I've been flying through this kit. Um, um, what else have I got? So um, Art and Soul come in baggies. So I, instead of just putting them into a um, one of my containers, I've just left the bags in and used one of my little food containers just to put them in and sort them out by colour. Oh, so cool. I've got two of them as well so hmm, there's 47 colors so um it's working for me it's quite easy i know working where the colors are by that muscle memory or whatever they say it is um yeah. i'm using yeah. the diamond art club new tray um purely because my fantasy sparkles doesn't like rounds so mm. i've been i have to use this one for rounds and i use my other two for um for squares Cool. Same pens that I always have, <laughs> my original um, Diamond Art Club ones. I did actually take the metal places off, the four and seven placer off them. Um, it just seemed to work a lot nicer with the rounds with the plastic ones. And I'm, I don't notice any difference. So I'm enjoying okay. that. Still got, still got the metal single placer. But, yeah, that's Very what cool. I'm working on. I think, yeah. I think that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bit blurred today. So yeah, yeah, it is Sunday flat. afternoon for us guys. So we're sort of winding down the weekend. Um, so apologies if we're a little bit lethargic and a little bit slow today. Yeah. <laughs> well, I have been swimming, so that's probably why I'm just chilled and in a nice big swim spa and <laughs> had some and family look, perfect time, weather. So, oh, yeah. Oh, it was freezing cold when we got out, I tell you. The wind <laughs> was blowing a gale. So it yeah. was like 36 degrees Celsius in the in the spa. So it was just amazing. And then you got out Beautiful. to the wind and it just knocks you out and you're just freezing cold. And <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, it yeah. is. <laughs> we We've um we got a swim spa at home. Yes, it's, oh, it's yeah. chilly when you get out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it, it was just incredible. So I'm like, we've been sort of savouring that over the last, over winter and enjoying it. Yep. Um, yeah, down at my mother-in-law's. So nice. she puts up with us just to come down for a swim. She knows we come and see the, we come down for a swim more than to see her. <laughs> but that's not true. But, <laughs> and I think we it's sort of any of those things, her. like they like having an excuse to have you come down. Oh, exactly. And it's so nice. It's just so nice to spend some time with my mother-in-law she's she's a beautiful lady and I love it a bit so um oh, no. I'm happy to go down there I wasn't going to go down today but I kind of thought oh we got we've got to do some family time <laughs> hadn't been down for a while yeah what's been going on with you well I am um, just to let everyone know I'm working on a Dreamer Designs, it's Italian. Oh, my gosh. I, sh I really have to <laughs> get this one done so I don't have to keep trying to say the name. Yes. It's <laughs> La Sale Trollocasse. Oh, my gosh. I think I'm getting worse. Um, 
<laughs> but it is around. And, look, I'm really enjoying it. And apologies, it is sideways because it's too big to fit on my table and have my camera able to see it. So I'm, I've am i got it right at the edge of my table. So apologies if it looks a little bit weird and it is confetti heaven at the moment. So um, <laughs> you're probably not going to fully know exactly what I'm working on, but um, that's okay. You'll see the end result when I finish it. Yeah. <laughs> um, but as far as what's been happening with me, um, look, life – Life has gotten interesting. Um, yeah. I'll start with, I'm going to go all over the shop timeline wise, but um, <laughs> last weekend we had my family friend, um, she actually got married. So we, my husband and I went down, we had to drive down to Toowoomba. Um, oh now that that's a fair drive for, for anyone who doesn't sort of know the area. Um, it that took us. We went inland. It took us just over seven hours. Oh gosh! Um, we yeah. we stopped for like twenty minutes. It was and then like a couple of quick stops just to change drivers. But really, we the only actual break we had was twenty minutes, and it still took us seven hours to get there. Oh, um, so it was a bit of fun. We drove down Saturday, drove home Monday because the wedding was Sunday. <laughs> so we, my husband and I, have both been a little bit tired this week. Um, we left my son with my in-laws. One, I didn't think a four-year-old was really going to cope with a a very long wedding. Like the, we no. were there at three o'clock for the wedding, and we left, and we left early. You know, we waited for the food and the speeches and a little bit of the dancing. Um, but we left fairly early because we knew we had to do the drive, and we left at quarter to ten. So. Oh, wow. It was yeah. a really long time, which I don't think my son would have coped with. So we left him with my in-laws. So they got to have a sleepover for two nights and they <laughs> drove him to Kindy, um, which yeah. was pretty cool. So they got to do a drop-off. Um, but I do have to tell you, oh, my gosh, you know, just men being typical men and just not entirely thinking through the process. So my son wanted to see us all dressed up you know, what we were wearing and, you know, why we were going. And so my mother-in-law was trying to explain it. So she asked us to send a photo. So my husband ended up sending a photo. He took like a selfie of us. So, of course, you know, he didn't take it in the mirror. No, no, he took it as a traditional selfie. So <laughs> all he got was like the top half of us. And that's fine. My husband's a bit taller than me. He's got probably about five inches, you know, 14, 15 centimetres height on me. Um yeah. <laughs> and so I come up to like his shoulder and we got this beautiful shot of us and I'm wearing a strapless dress. And so where the oh. photo got taken was like just below shoulder level. It was sort of like at collarbone level. Yeah. And he sends it. And I was like, oh, what photo have you got? Like, show me what you're going to send. And he shows me. I'm like, honey, you can't send that. It looks like I've got no clothes on. <laughs> and no, you'll be fine. I was like, no, that seriously looks like I've got no clothes on, <laughs> even though I had my strapless dress on. So next thing you know, we had a phone call with my son before we went to the wedding so that, you know, we could say goodnight and everything. And yeah. <laughs> the first thing out of his mouth is, why wasn't mummy wearing any clothes? <laughs> <laughs> oh, son, I really, really was. We'll get a photo of mummy actually in her dress <laughs> and we'll send that through. <laughs> and my husband's like, oh. I didn't really notice that. I'm like, oh, my gosh, typical male. Um, oh, so that, that was. Yeah. <laughs> so my poor mother-in-law had to field that question about why was a mum wearing any clothes. Um, yeah. And then what made it even worse is, bless her, we went to pick up my son at kindy Monday afternoon. So, like, we drove back and we got back into town about quarter past two and, and pick up was three. So we had a little bit of time. We at least were able to duck into my in-laws and pick up all his gear and then come home. Um, sorry, come, yeah. come straight to school to pick him up. And... Um, it, the next day, like I sort of saw his teacher, so she at least knew we were back and we'd picked him up. But Tuesday morning, I saw his teacher, and, and again, just childhood innocence. But she said to me, <laughs> Oh, how was the trip? Like, how was the weekend away? I said, Oh, it was really nice. You know, it was picture perfect weather. Like, it was, it was a stunning, stunning day. And like, the it wasn't too hot, it wasn't too cold. It was, it, you know, you just, you couldn't have asked for a better day. And uh, Toowoomba is about to have their, actually it'll be this weekend, they opened up their flower festival or whatever, oh. flower, flower carnival, whatever that, that thing is. Um, yeah. 
So like everything was just green because they were preparing for it this weekend and it was just, it was gorgeous. And so, yeah, so I said, oh, you know, it was beautiful. You know, we were down in Toowoomba, um, you know, we had to go to this wedding and she said, oh, oh, you went to a wedding. I said, yeah. And I said, oh, it was just a family friend of ours, but, you know, my son wouldn't have known them and, you know, it's a long time, it's a long drive. We, we just didn't think it was right. And she said, oh, oh, your son mentioned that you needed to go away for some alone time. <laughs> <laughs> my no. son who's at a very very christian school is basically oh. implying to his teacher that what <laughs> in his innocence but it sounds like we went away for a dirty weekend <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> especially because he saw a photo of me that looked like i had no clothes on <laughs> oh no way that is incredible <laughs> sorry yeah embarrassing <laughs> excuse me yeah i would have i would have lost it i would have went bright red and uh, <laughs> I did. Yeah. <laughs> I like, no, 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 it wasn't anything like that. Oh, <laughs> very defensive. <laughs> yes. Oh. Was he happy to see you when you were home? He was. Look, we we then paid for it afterwards. Um, yeah. You know, he his routine then was quite upset. Um, so. Yeah. Tuesday was not pleasant. Um, he had a bit of a meltdown. And he kept mm. saying he wanted to go back to Nana and Papa's house and, you know, that's where he wanted yeah. to stay. Um, and, you know, I sort of half expected that and I, I sort of let it go. Um, but then when things didn't go his way, he had a full-blown meltdown and then it, it started to get a bit nasty. Um, you know, oh, he was – and again, it's, it's four-year-old innocence. He hears these things and yeah. he doesn't really know the implications of it. So I know he, in my head it's not – intended to be that like yeah. you know the way that it comes across but unfortunately he has been yeah. saying things like i want you to leave and just never come back yep yep we're getting that mm -hmm. at, with my five-year-old oh, yeah. it's awful i just want to like, die i just want to die it's, it's oh um, it's heartbreaking and to think yeah. like i say to him and and say well do you even know what it means that you should go to heaven um it's he's like i just want to go to heaven so he's heard it somewhere and now he knows that it pulls the heartstring. <laughs> he yeah. He keeps on doing it. And yep. oh, I just, it makes me so upset. Like, I know it shouldn't, but I just get there and I say, to, I say to him, I'm like, well, you know, my dad's in heaven. And I said, you know, I can't, I can't ever visit him again. And then yep. that kind of makes him a little bit down and he's good for the night. <laughs> but then it yeah. starts again. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it, it's hard. It's one of, if anybody has any strategies to help us get through these stages, <laughs> yes. we would greatly appreciate it. <laughs> yes. Yes, we very much would. I um I got after I dropped him off at kindy on Tuesday, I um I sat in the car park and cried. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't blame you one bit. I would have done too. Yeah, it's just oh, it's, it's, it's really really, really hard. Quite and, teary now, <laughs> but you know it's yeah. and it's one of those things that your head and your heart do two very different things. You know, my my yeah. head is very much going. He doesn't fully comprehend the meaning of it. He doesn't. He doesn't yeah. mean it to be quite as nasty as it as it does sound. You know, there yeah. is that childhood innocence to it. You know, he's heard similar threats and similar things being said, obviously, amongst his kindy mates. And yeah. so that's why he says it. And he's testing those boundaries. Like, I know all of these things. But, but it when, still hurts. <laughs> yeah, when they look at you and you can see their frustration and their anger and then they say that to you, it's, it's devastating. Yeah. Absolutely yep. devastating. So, yeah. yeah. It's like, oh. <laughs> I feel, I feel oh, for you. I feel you. Yeah, I feel for you too. Gosh. <laughs> We're going through something similar at the moment, aren't we? <laughs> yeah. But well, yeah. I think the fact that the kids are only, what, about 12 months apart. Yeah. It's, we're going to have that, I think, quite yeah. often. is. Yeah. It's just, oh, it's awful. Yeah. Absolutely I awful. remember when my daughter went through it and being my first, yeah, that was just, oh, when they say I hate you or I don't want you around me, it, Gosh, it hits hard. And and even yep. being like my son being my second, you'd think he'd be used to it and you know it's just a, like you were saying, you know it's just developmental and it's what they do, but you still react the same way because you don't expect your little baby to <laughs> to come yep. out and say those words to you. Yeah, uh, that's it. That is exactly it. It's 
it doesn't stop the hurt. No. no. It doesn't stop the hurt. Mm. Um, but I do have to tell you another happy story. See, I'm, I told okay. you I'm going to be all over the place timeline wise. That's um, cool. I'm fine with that. We had Saturday two weeks ago. Um, because it was, yeah, it was 31st of July, uh, 31st of August. They had the school. The school has a lot of functions, I've noticed. Um, yeah. they had a, a spring picnic because, of course, here in the Southern Hemisphere, we've now started spring. Um, yeah. and they, because Sunday the first was technically the first of, day of spring, so on the Saturday they'd had a, a carnival and a, oh. a picnic, they called it, but they had. And, like, this school that he goes to, it's kindy, prep, grade 1 through to 12. So there's 14 oh, years wow. of students there. Like, it, it's a huge school. Um, yeah. I mean, it's probably still not huge compared to a lot of other places. But, you know, there's there's well over 1,200 kids. So, you know, and when you've got this huge age range, it, it does all start to be quite big. And, and they try to have this inclusive family feel. Um, you know, again, it's that Christian school part of it. He, yeah. um, he's, we find out next year when he starts prep, so when it's, you know, properly primary school, um, they actually get a buddy in grade 11. And so once oh, a week okay. they have to meet up and they get to have lunch together. And yeah. it seems to just sort of, I'm going to say, tone down some of the teenager issues, you know, yeah. because they, yeah. they are aware that they're looking after, you know, five and six-year-olds. Yeah. Um, yeah. or four and five year olds, and then it's also that um, they continue on through grade one. So then, okay. of course, it's the final year of high school for the for the the older buddy. Um, but it's you know the the younger ones a little bit there. So it also then means like for graduation and things, the their buddy can come with them and celebrate. So oh, I actually think it's lovely. a really really cute concept. Um, yeah. But anyway, there's this, this whole big thing. So I've been told by some of the, the parents who've got kids in older years as well, I've been told about the really important dates so I know what I've got to look for next year and try and get time <laughs> off work and that sort of stuff. Um, yeah. But they were sort of saying with this this spring carnival, they're like, it's, it's always a really big deal, like you should definitely come. And so we went and they had like rides, they, they paid amusement people to come and set up rides. So they had like, you know, the big slide and like a, a version of like the teacup ride yeah. um they had like a little well it's not carousel it was it's the ones that i don't know they're on strings and come down <laughs> but oh, that yes, kind of a yeah. merry-go-round type swings. thing yeah yeah um they had a rock climbing wall for some of the bigger kids they actually had an archery display the school band and the drama club had little presentations they had you know we're in a bit more of a rural area so they even had like horse riding came out and so for the younger kids they yeah. had horse and cart and like it was just a huge thing it was it was really yeah. really nice um but they had also had that was on the saturday so on the thursday before that they actually had an art exhibition and oh, they wow. said to us that every single primary school kid would have artwork on display. Now, my kid has my artistic skills, like, non-existent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it, it's atrocious. You know, he, he I say it half-jokingly, half-serious, the only artist he would ever rival is going to be Picasso. He, he <laughs> it, it, it's just out there. Um, yeah. It just does something that interests him, and that's okay. I He's, he's got to be bad at something, right? Yeah. That's so, right. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I was like, oh, yeah, okay, we're going to have to go to this, silly art exhibition thing oh yay like he's kindy for a start so it's not going to be fantastic <laughs> and secondly he's not good at art so amazing yeah. but Thursday I ended up coming down with a really bad migraine and oh. I just went I can't I can't do people I can't I just can't do it so yeah. I came home and I brought my son home but he really really wanted to go so I ended up ringing my husband who was coming home from work and I was like can you take him he really wants to go and see it like he's going to last five minutes but he wants to see it so my husband's like, yeah, yeah, okay, righto. So he takes it and, like, my son did. He lasted all of, like, five minutes, had a meltdown, got tired and wanted to come home. But he at least <laughs> went. And I said to my yeah. husband, I was like, how was it? And he was like, yeah, it was okay. I was like, did you see his artwork? And he was like, yeah, it was up there. I was like, D do you want to give me anything more? And he was like, yeah, I, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Like, we didn't see everything. Like, we just saw that bit. I was like, oh, Okay. Meanwhile, one of his classmates' friends, his, his mom, is sending me all these messages going, 
oh, your son's artwork is up like on display. And I was like, every kid's artwork is up on display. Like, what are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> and she's like, oh, you would have had an email. And I was like, yeah, we, we had an email, but like it just made it sound like every kid's artwork is on display. She's like, she, she was trying to get it across to me and I really wasn't understanding it. So I was like, okay, righto. So on the Saturday when we were there at the spring carnival, I was like, oh, they've still got the art exhibition up. I wouldn't mind going and having a look, you know? Yeah. So random teacher saw us walking up the hill and so she pointed us in the right direction and she said oh you know if you go up these stairs and go down this corridor you'll see the room where they're all up on display I was like cool so we walked in and we came in the back way so the this room off the side was right near us and we went in and my husband's like going oh we didn't come in this room I was like well where did you go <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm so confused so we're walking around the room and it was like literally every child from kindy prep through to grade six so the primary schoolers they all had artwork yeah. up on display and it was a theme so it was like you know under the sea under the water whatever kind of a theme so my son's class had it that they had a photo of their face and the teachers stuck on um you know, black cardboard, but it made it look like a snorkel and then the kids drew like oh. bubbles and little sea creatures and things. Like it was, it's pretty cute. Yeah. So they did that and like some of the older classes decorated seahorses and stuff. Like every class had their own picture that they all did the same thing on. Um, but anyway, we're walking around and so my husband's like, oh, we didn't come in here. I'm like, well, where did you go? <laughs> I, I don't understand. This is where the artwork is. He's like, oh, no, no, we were out in the main hall area. So I was like, okay, well, let's let's go and have a look. And we walk out and I can see like there's, you know, like proper stands and there is artwork attached on these stands. So I was like, oh, this is yeah. getting a bit more serious. I was like, our son's is on here. He's like, yeah, the kindy is over here. So they sort of walked me over and it was literally facing the front door. Oh, so, wow. And that's where they had the kindy kits. Now, what we didn't know and what my husband neglected to tell me is in the between the two kindy classes, because one of the classes is part-time, one of the classes is full-time. So between the two kindy classes, we think there's around about 50 kids. Oh, wow. My son was one of 10 that got chosen for display. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, this is actually important. Is and as we're having yeah. a look at it, it meant that he was actually up for an, he could have been up for an award. Oh, wow. <laughs> so <laughs> my non-artistic child, I kind of have to, like, bite my tongue and not say it yeah. quite so obviously now. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, he, he did artwork there. I don't know. I, I always find it funny that you've got kindy kids that they're trying to teach them the masters and so yeah. every, <laughs> like, week or fortnight or whatever, they pick a new master and then they do a, a painting in the style of, like, <laughs> oh, goodness. sure, these are, these are four-year-olds, but, Sure. Yeah, let sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, but my son, his was in the style of Starry Night by Vincent Van Gogh. Oh, and goodness. I will say, like, they ended up covering it, like, all the kids when they did the Starry Night, they actually did cover it with, like, a, a bronze, like, it's paper, but, you know, a bronze gilt frame got put around it. So yeah. he had that on there. And so when it was hung up, it looked amazing because it had this gold gilt frame on it and <laughs> it was it was front and centre of the kindy kids and I actually talked to his teacher like the like the following week and said, oh, like I wasn't expecting my son's artwork up there and she was like, no, neither was I. Like he's not usually interested in it. But she said his was so good and she said she actually stepped back and she was interested to see because obviously kindy kids, you know, their artwork is not going to be as good as the, you know, the grade fives and the grade sixes and, yeah. you know, they, that's part of the reason why they have it at the front door is so that those kids are getting a bit of exposure. And she said they all came in and all these people stopped and had a look and every single one of them, she said, without fail, every single person that she could see looked at his artwork and I think it was oh, because incredible. of the water. But she said yeah. she heard quite a few people saying, oh, how good is that for a kindy kid? Like, I'm like, oh, that's so oh, nice to be so proud. I am very proud of him, considering Aww. he is not an artist. But, oh, I was just, <laughs> it, would really it was is. nice. <laughs> yeah. Gosh, if he's able to do that, he's definitely an artist. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't actually see it, so don't, don't go too far. <laughs> oh, you <never> but, know. <laughs> Look, he, I sort of talked to him and I was like, oh, do you want to start doing some more painting or anything? You know, it's school holidays at the moment. I was like, you know, we could do some painting on the week, you know, during the week if you want to. And I'm thinking, I really don't want to. But if you want to, I'll, I'll do the epic. 
And he was like, Pretend no, to be I don't want to do that. I don't like painting. I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> don't have to tell oh. me twice, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, amazing. Yeah. Um, that is so incredible. yeah, that's that's my update. Oh, my husband got a job. Oh yeah, oh, I, I'm so proud of my son. Like that. Yeah, that's a big thing. Um, but my my husband got a a promotion. Nice. Um, yeah. So that's he's been acting in the role for a month or two now, which is part of the reason why Loz and I have been struggling to come up with time to record. Yeah. Is <laughs> <laughs> my my home life balance is, has greatly changed and we're, you know, both of us are juggling. Um, yes. You know, we're trying to adjust and, and make this work and we'll get there. It's just going to take will. time. Yeah. Um, so it's been a bit of a change for us and he's he's doing really well and he's loving it. It means he's also got a pay rise and because it means that he's going to be homeless and doing longer hours and things, um, we had a bit of a chat and we've agreed that I'm going to cut back a day a week just Boy. to try and have a better mental health yep. time as well um, so that I don't burn out trying to do the family thing. Um, Good. But, yeah, yeah. You need that. That's important. Yes. It truly is. Yep. And, well, it's funny, like you've dropped down a day and I'm picking up a day <laughs> because, yeah, my oh, kids are no. a bit older. I know. My yeah. kids are older and, and, and it's a bit easier, but my job needs it. Like yeah. we've had a really increase in the amount of work and, they need me to pick up that day, but um, I'm not happy about it. <laughs> that was my one day without the kids, you know. I could yeah. go off and do things. I had appointments and I could just do whatever I wanted. But now I, I don't mind. I work from home on those days. So technically I yeah. am home and I can chuck the washing on or do whatever I need to. But um, Yeah, it's still not, it's still not quite the same. No, but it'll help out, you know, how tough tough it is at the moment and I'm so happy for you that you are you've you're going to cut back because I know yeah. how tough it's been for you this year and just to see you struggle and and to see that you've like identified that that's a need for you and and I'm so happy your husband supports that because you yeah. need that Thank support you. yeah yeah and you know it's sort of one of those things it, it was a really hard choice because you know there's that part of me that although I mean, I wouldn't necessarily call me a feminist, but I'm an equalist. Yeah. Um, you know, I believe that men and women should both share duties around the house, that yep. no person is more important than the other. You know, it has to be an yep. equal partnership. Um, yeah. And I'm mentally also still having to adjust to the fact that, you know, at the start of this year, I decided that although I was going to do five days, I would only do school hours so that, you know, life was a little bit easier for my son and knowing that my husband, you know, potentially is going to be working away. It means that, you know, the times it is away, I don't have to try and juggle work. Um, yeah. You know, all of those sorts of things, you know, that that was a hard adjustment for me regardless because I was like, why am I the one who has to cut back? <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, it's hard. But now it's also I'm having to readjust again to say, well, he's progressing his career, so I now need to look after me and cut a day out. And then I'm like, but yep. now... I'm fully feeling like, you know, in a way I'm slipping back into, I'm going to say, the traditional feminine role and that's not what I like. So I I've got a very big mental adjustment. It, but don't try and think of it that way because you're not. You're doing what you have to do for your family. And, yes, okay, I know you're the one taking the hit for your career, but your career is always going to be there. Once he once he's at school and once he gets settled, there's you're gonna have that opportunity to get back into the workforce and to bring back yeah. that status quo. You know, you you will and yeah. and I felt like that too. You know, and I and I kind of think it's the same sort of thing as well. My job's not physical, but it's still draining. You know, you know, it is it's mentally you know, other, draining. Uh, Exactly, and just because we're not doing physical work doesn't mean it's not hard work. Um, yep. That's how I see things too. So my day can be just as hard as anybody else. Um, but yeah, I think I think you'll be all right, and I think you'll appreciate that bit of time to yourself and to work on you, focus on you, yes. and and when you're ready, you'll be able to say, "Yep, I'm ready to go back to full time," or "No, I need this. I need these four day weeks." To yeah. Be able to, to manage and don't think of it as a oh you know I'm a suck as a housewife and suck as a 
careerist, you know, <laughs> because you don't. Yeah. It's definitely not that yeah. way. Oh, and and that's sort of, you know, like what we were talking about with the kids, you know, it's my head and my heart know two very different things. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, and it's it's okay, I, I will get there and, you know, I haven't started my my day a week less yet that's starting oh hopefully next week actually um (laughs) yeah (laughs) i have to take two days off this week but that's because we don't have any school care um holiday care for my son because the school cancelled it they couldn't find anyone to do it this week because kindy requires yeah so they told us that oh about four weeks ago (laughs) so husband and i have been frantically working out who's taking what days off to try and cover him because my in-laws are now over in perth um, which is the other side of the country for anyone who doesn't know. So it's not like I can just shove my kid in the car and go and see them. Um, so yeah. that we have no reliance at the moment. We, we have to try out. and cover this ourselves. Well, um, can you hear me? Okay, sorry. Um, has hubby just moved the car and I hooked up to the car. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god what's going on and you just kept cutting out and then hubby gets out of the car because he's washed it and he goes you hooked up to the car i can hear her talking <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's embarrassing I'm like, I'm like turn the car off <laughs> oh no, that's just embarrassing you. sorry hubby <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh goodness yeah well we've just started like our um school holidays you know my kids are in a public school so they get they've only just finished on Friday um so they've got two weeks off I've got them in vacation care I think they've got four days this week so that goes to the local PCYC oh yeah and then they've got two days the next so but I've put them in days where they go and do something exciting because I know this week they're going to time zone and they're doing some like real good crafting days there so they tend to oh, like cool. yeah we missed out hopefully on um hopefully your son doesn't lose a tooth this time at time zone oh gosh <laughs> well he does have a wiggly one so oh no it's gonna happen i don't th- yeah well this one's with the school so <laughs> okay. we'll see how that goes <laughs> oh boy yeah but um no they they tend to like it and and i think well i can keep them home on days that i'm home working um which they they don't mind, but gosh, they're fighting. Anything, I'm just going to send them so I can just stay away. <laughs> it's I don't know. I reckon it's the weather change as well. Oh, it has to be. Or they're both going through their hormonal changes at the same time. <laughs> oh no! Don't even talk about that. No, 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 no. <laughs> well, again, like my son must be starting to get a bit of testosterone because he's had two pimples come up. So oh my god! Oh, I know. He's well. He's had one on his ear and one near his eye. I think it was. So they're random. <laughs> we didn't change oh my anything. Gosh. So yeah, I'm thinking maybe you know maybe they just have a little spike or something. I don't. I don't know. I'm the nurse here, and I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say yeah. I'm not much better in my job. So whoops. <laughs> <laughs> but we're not. But we're yeah, not pediatricians. But- sorry. <laughs> exactly. Well, I don't work with kids. I work with elderly. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah. there's a reason. But yeah, but it's funny how you're talking about your school fair as well, because we had one last weekend as well. It was the spring fair. Oh. And yeah, so they do that every year and it's always a big thing. They, they again have the amusement rides. And so we had the teacups, two big inflatable slides and jumping castles and the swings they had a drop, you know, like the giant drop. They had oh, yeah. um, one of them. So my daughter absolutely loved that. And they just got, it was like unlimited rides for like $40. So they each had an armband. My daughter went off with her friends. So that was the first time she's ever sort of gone off and done her own thing while we were there. And my yep. son sort of stayed with us, but he loved the teacups. That was his all-time favourite. We just, I think yeah. he went on that one the most. And <laughs> And they had a little petting zoo and we got, went and oh, yeah. patted some little chickens and all those little cute little guinea pigs. And, yeah. Um, they had some we had a goats. petting zoo. We had a petting yeah, zoo we... and all they had was um, little, like, kids, baby goats. Baby oh, goats and they had a couple yeah. of hamsters. And my son walked oh, past they... and went, no, nah, not interested, and kept no. walking. <laughs> well, they was from our local alpaca farm, so they're quite oh, likely to cool. us. 
and they have tons of them and they usually have parrots and kangaroos and and all sorts but they bought two alpacas but you could only just pat them but this yep. one there was a um one little goat we we went in there my son had his bowl of food to feed it and we sat down on the hay bales and this little white goat came up to us he took the bowl out of my son's hands tipped the food out and started munching on the bowl <laughs> it was just hilarious and the lady comes over and she's like oh my god leo you've done it again <laughs> so i'm like oh naughty little leo <laughs> oh poor leo <laughs> was, oh he was just it was just so nice and then they had fireworks and it was just a lovely sort of a night to yeah. sort of spend some time with the family and they had market stalls and yeah, but they ran out of hot chips, so everybody was kind of annoyed. Oh, that they, they didn't like, plan that well. Yeah, they had all these stalls there, and they all ran out of food. Obviously, weren't expecting it to be that full on. So yeah, wow, <laughs> yeah, but that that's good great. though. I love it when you see a big turnout. Oh yeah, and it's good for the school. They they yeah. really need it. So hopefully, they make a profit out of it. Um, they put so much effort into it. Um, yeah. So that was pretty fun. My daughter's had her dance exams last week or the week before. I can't remember what it was. Oh, wow. so how'd you bit, go? Oh, yeah, well, I haven't, we haven't got the results yet. So usually we get them the day of. Yeah. Um, but the exa- it was a different examiner this year. So she had two exams and she was so no- nervous, the poor darling. I had to, mm. I took the day off and I didn't get her to go to school and she just chilled out and then got her ready and because they're quite strict in how they have to look for the exams and yeah, she was so worried she was going to forget it. But she came out and I'm like, how did you go? She's like, I didn't forget it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, darling, that's so good. Yeah, so it's important for her to go up to like to the next levels in her dancing. So I'm so proud of her. I would never do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. much ashamed. <laughs> it, uh, yeah, no, it's it's in public. I'm out. <laughs> yeah, and then so now they're starting work on their concert. So everything's excited. They're picking songs and their costumes and. Oh, so, nice. Yeah, now the madness for that starts. It's it's absolute chaos. I tell you, like the weekend of the of the concert. So two weeks before they go and do not a full rehearsal, it's called blocking, and they just go and get used to the stage and learn how the lights work and what to expect. Oh, yeah. And then they do ex- – she does extra classes because she goes into the opening and the closing as well on okay. top of her three already big dances. And then the Saturday before the concerts, the concerts on a Sunday, and the Saturday before they do a normal rehearsal, like they do a run-through. And then, yeah. so that takes about two and a half hours. So generally, say from 10, 10 till 12.30. And then we have to rush and pick them up, bring them home. Then they're doing a full dress rehearsal. So that is hair, makeup, full costumes, stockings, everything. Oh, my so gosh. That's the day before, it is absolute chaos. And then so you, you have ideally by the time we get home by the time I get her showered or fed and then dressed in hair and makeup it is you have probably an hour <laughs> to get oh my all that God. done and then get back out to the theatre and then <laughs> release them into the hands of the dance instructor and leave <laughs> Oh, my so gosh. The kids You're stressing me out just hearing it. Oh, I tell you. And because we're like, this is my daughter's fifth or sixth year yeah. there, we're kind of like pros at it now. We've got it down to down to a T. But we're getting the new mums and, and others that are coming in and I have to do their hair and makeup all in this hour. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, I tell you, it's, it's one of that the is most chaos. stressful stressful times of my life and to <laughs> I, I don't know how they do it I don't yeah I don't know how other people manage but man I I stock up on my <laughs> any anxieties those weekends <laughs> yes just get some good beta blockers you'll be right yeah I think so <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness but yeah so that's what we got to look forward to that's all the stress of can't miss a lesson, can't do this, don't hurt yourself. Every time she does a cartwheel, I'm like, don't hurt yourself. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah. I'm like, oh, but yeah. 
fun. That's good. Fun she's time. obviously doing really well. Oh, she she's amazing in her dance. I tell you, I, I'm this, like uh, you. I know you're super proud of uh, of your son in with his art and stuff. But when my daughter dances, she just lets herself go and. Um, oh, no. Nice. Yeah, super proud. And I think yeah. like all too often, kids are taking on some of that adult stress, whether they know what to mean it or not. So yeah. if she can fully let go, that's so gorgeous. She does. That and it's and the dances she does, like I wanted to keep her in one that was quite strict and tailored. You know, you had to, and it was like the what's the word? The skills are quite full on. So she does tap. So that's her <laughs> one where she has to be, and she's the best. Her tap is absolutely amazing. She's picked it up oh, so wow. quickly. And she's gone up quite a few levels for that. But then going into, she does jazz and contemporary. So I think that's her one structured. I'm oh, sorry, I bumped the screen. Yep. Um, she's got a good structured one, but then her jazz and contemporary, she can just let go, let loose. Yeah. That's our fun for the next term. <laughs> yeah, geez. And coming up to Christmas, that's going to be fun. Oh, and then they start swimming and, oh, it's chaos. Um, term four is not a fun term for us. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe we're almost up to term four and I just keep thinking, oh, like, no. I've just gotten used to the fact that he's in kindy. He's, I've only just got I'm like getting... I'm getting myself used to the, like, my boy has gone through three terms of school in prep, you know? Yeah. He's, uh, I can't believe it. I'm like, how? And he's just growing up so much and my daughter's going into grade five and, oh, I just, yeah. Now's to start reminiscing about what it's been, this year's been, I think. So. Yes. Yeah. yeah, we're about to uh, get our school letter to find out, you know, they've got to do that handover with yes. um, like for yes. kindy and to prep. Yeah. yeah, so I know his teacher's been drafting that up and I think uh, I think first week of after school we've got to make an appointment for another like parent-teacher interview and make sure that he's meeting all his milestones and nice. all that sort of stuff. So. Yeah, I, um, with the with the way that he talks and with the way that is he's going, oh, I'm no pretty issue. sure we're fine. <laughs> yeah, no issue at all. <laughs> he um, oh, with one of his little mates, he was funny. He's he's really started to be quite friendly with a little kid who he's actually from Brunei. Um. Oh. Yeah, so, like, his mum's lovely. She and I, we regularly try and let the kids have, like, a bit of a play. In the afternoon, we let all the cars leave the car park. Like, we're not going to sit in the car yeah. and wait for 20 minutes. We'll let them go and then we'll we'll make our own way out. Um, so we yeah. let the kids have a bit of a run around, work off some energy, have a bit of a play. We get to have a bit of an adult catch up and, you know, it's just it's a nice way to, to break up the afternoon. Um, yeah. But he... Kids just got home. Um, but, oh. yeah, I had to have a bit of a laugh because she said to me the other day, she said, oh, my son, he, you know, it's so nice to be able to talk to him more. And I sort of looked at her and she said, oh, he, he's never been much of a talker. And oh. I just looked at her and I went, I'm so sorry. Oh. <laughs> and she laughed and she said, no. She said, I wanted to have a conversation with him and he's never really opened up. And she said, oh, your son, because he talks so much with my son like he's he's a lot more comfortable talking now and she said it's so nice and I'm just like I'm so so sorry my child no. doesn't shut up like he just talks non-stop so I apologize oh. <laughs> but that is but amazing I'm, though yeah Getting he he's just this really friendly chatty kid and he's he'll talk to anybody Aww. and you know I've seen him a couple of times where there's a couple of the girls in the class that you know they still don't like their mum leaving and you know, they cry yeah. and, you know, have a bit of a, a carry on with it all. And, and my son, I've seen him a couple of times go over and just give them a little bit of a hug and say, hey, do you want to come oh. and play this with me? And it, I don't think he even knows that he's doing it, but it's it's just beautiful. So I'm so oh, glad that he seems to be having a good influence on some of these kids. So. Exactly. Oh, that's another proud mum moment, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Oh, how lovely. I know we've 
we've got a few kids like that in my boys um, prep class that they always come over and say hello like yeah he doesn't like to leave me but he knows he has to and yeah and when I'm there to drop him off he doesn't he'll sit with me the whole time yeah and, and I don't mind you know but now he knows that I have to go and he's quite happy to go but yeah so many other kids like come on let's play and he's starting to venture out to do it so yeah it is lovely yeah. oh gosh they're growing up I know, I know. Up. <laughs> yeah I don't cry. Oh, oh no I don't no don't don't <laughs> But I reckon we should close on a very happy note. (laughs) Yeah, it's a happy cry, isn't it? It's the proud mum. Yeah, yeah, you know, he's not perfect and I don't delude myself to think that he is. But, you know, I'd like to think that, you know, when I see him do things like that, that overall he is going to be a good kid and and that I'm leading him the right way. And I know that you're the same, you know, with with your kids, you know. Yeah, and that's so what my mother They've got to find their feet today. and they've got to take wrong steps just like we do. But Exactly, you know. but you've got to have those boundaries, you know. You've got to yeah. set the boundaries, you've got to teach them manners and you've got to teach them safety. And that's exactly yeah. what my mother-in-law said to me today. She's like, yes, you let them get away with some things, but they know what's right and wrong and they yep. know And if they're around other people, people are, like, so shocked at how well they use their manners. I'm like, well, yeah, so they should. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. That's exactly right. Yeah. Oh, lovely. Oh, I reckon we should wrap it up. I'm getting a bit doughy. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. I agree. Like um, so on the the happy night. Yeah. Hey. So I hope everyone has enjoyed our chat and I hope that um, you've done something along with us. Tell us what you've been working on down in the comments below. Um, but hopefully you all have a really really good week and i if you like this video give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe but otherwise have a great week guys and we'll catch you in a video soon bye see you later bye